Hey everyone, today's video is on three hairstyles that are perfect for the races or if you're a guest at a wedding, along with outfits to go with them. So I really hope you enjoy it and let's get into it. The first hairstyle are these soft, glamorous, loose waves. So first you want to start by sectioning off your hair to make it easier to curl just above your ears. To create this look, I'm going to be using the Mark Hill Pick and Mix Wand Handle and I'm just attaching the Glam Waver Barrel onto it. This video is actually in collaboration with Mark Hill, which I'm so excited about. Their products are so affordable and I'm super proud to be working with them. And with your wand handle, you can attach any of the barrels from the pick and mix range with it. So you could start with your wand handle and then purchase any of the barrels that you like, which could be this Glam Waver one or the corkscrew, which then allows you to create so many different looks just by changing the attachment. If you want to find out more about how it works, check the link below. So you need to pick up a section of hair which is a similar size to the width of the barrel, place the wand behind the hair and then wrap it around it, hold it for a few seconds and then catch it in your hand to set the curl in place. And it really is as easy as that so just repeat the exact same process all around your head. The shape of the Glam Waver Barrel is what gives you those really soft waves which I think are perfect for an event like a wedding or the races. Just keep taking down sections of your hair and curling them until you've reached the top. So now all of the hair has been curled, before I do anything else I'm taking the Mark Hill Miraculous Nourishing Hairspray and just spraying that all over what I've just done. This is a great hairspray to use for this look because you can still touch and move the hair because it's so flexible. And then I'm just brushing out the curls to make them even softer and more flowy. To finish off, I'm using the Perfecting Polish just to smooth over any flyaways and make my hair look flawless. And then at this point you can add whatever hair accessory you like, it could be a big hat or a fascinator, this is such a good hairstyle for accessories. So now onto the outfits to go with this look. The first dress is from Pretty Little Thing and I love that it's in this light pink peachy colour and with a fascinator I think this would look so good for the races. And then this second dress is also from Pretty Little Thing and I just loved all of the lace detail on it and the bright red. I think this would be such a statement dress to wear and I've just matched it with this red fascinator to finish off the look. The second hairstyle is the simplest and probably the quickest to do. So first you want to create a middle parting in your hair and then pull back all of your hair into a ponytail position at the nape of your neck. Make sure you hold the ponytail in the position you want your bun to be at, so maybe slightly to one side. And then you just want to tie that in place. Next, twist the ponytail and pull out some pieces to make them more voluminous. And then you just need to wrap that around the base of your ponytail into a circle and then grip the bun into place with some hair grips. Next I'm taking the perfecting polish and just smoothing over the hairstyle. And then I'm using the Mark Hill Freeze Hold Hairspray and this is so good for this look because it really locks the hair into place so you know it's not going to move throughout the day. And then finally to give us that really sleek look I'm using the Miraculous Moroccan Argan Oil and just smoothing over the look with that. I just love how this hairstyle looks for an event, especially with a big hat, I just think it can look so chic. So for the first outfit I've got on this teal one shoulder midi dress with a big white hat and I think this would look amazing for a wedding or the races. I think this hairstyle with this outfit just looks really sophisticated. 
And then for the second option, I've got on this daisy floral maxi dress. I'll leave links to everything in the description box. I just think this would be perfect for a summer wedding or event. So on to hairstyle number three, again I'm starting by using the pick and mix wand handle and this time I'm using the Wicked Waver with it. So the reason I'm curling the hair with the Wicked Waver first is just to add some texture to the hair and create curls that will look really good when they're all gathered up at the back. If you just gathered up straight hair it wouldn't give the same effect as it does with the curls because they really do make this look. Again you want to pick a section of hair which is a similar width to the barrel and then wrap the hair around. Hold it and then let go. You should be left with a tight spirally curl and then you just want to repeat that all over your head. All of the products I'm using to create the hairstyles are exclusively available at Boots so I'll leave a link to them in the description. Once all of the hair is curled I'm just opening some of it up with my fingers. And then I'm using the Mark Hill Plumping Powder and applying that to the crown and the roots of my hair just to add some more volume to the top. So next I've just separated some pieces so I can have them framing my face and then I'm just pulling a section back twisting it around my hand and then gripping it to my head and then you just want to keep picking up sections twisting them around your hand and then gripping them by creating the tight curls it just adds texture to the hair and makes the updo look a lot more complicated than what it actually is this is a great hairstyle to do on yourself for an event just because it's so simple once I've gripped up all of my hair, I'm just taking the perfecting polish to define the curls and prevent flyaways. And then because we want to keep our hair in place all day, I'm taking the freeze hold hairspray to lock the hairstyle in. And then that is it. And this hairstyle goes with any dress, but I really love it with a fascinator and a long maxi one. It just looks like you've made so much effort. So that is it everyone, I really hope you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did, don't forget to check out all of the links to the products and dresses below, have a great day and I'll speak to you all in my next video, bye guys.